Hello and welcome to the tutorials on legal citation. I am attorney Lori Kornblum. Uh, these tutorials were developed for MATC's paralegal courses, but they are equally applicable for everyone. We are going to talk about citation format tonight uh, for Wisconsin cases before 2000. I have a different video on Wisconsin cases after 2000 when the Wisconsin Supreme Court adopted public domain citation. The, I have this divided into the Wisconsin Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals. There are not a lot of differences between them. So for official citation format using parallel citations, you always start with the case name. And that is, um, in this case, we have uh, two criminal cases, State versus Sullivan, and we have State versus Gerald L.C. These are two fairly well-known cases in Wisconsin. The case names are always italicized or underlined. We then go to the official Wisconsin citator, which is Callahan's uh, Wisconsin. It, right now they're on the second series of this. And that's Wisconsin second. That always goes first. And then after that always goes the Northwest second citation, citator, which is the West citation of the regional reporter. So just like every other citation format, you always have the volume, and then you have the source, and you have the first page. And here for the Court of Appeals, we have the same thing, the volume, the source, and the first page. For the Northwest Reporter, we have the same thing, the volume, the source, and the first page. We have the volume, the source, and the first page. The only difference between the Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court is they don't say what court they're in, but in the Supreme Court, you just have a year. And in Wisconsin, you know that it's the Supreme Court because it only has a year. For the Court of Appeals, you have court, app, and the year. So that is how you can tell the difference between the Wisconsin Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals, is that in the Supreme Court, you have only the, you have only the year. And in the Court of Appeals, you have the court app with, and the year, with no comma between app and year. So if you ever see a case with just the year, you know it's the Supreme Court. The other one is court, app, and year. If you want to do pinpoint citations, then you would, you would put those pinpoint citations in the first site, complete citation, and your pinpoint citations are your page numbers. So the question always comes up, how do we know what page it's on? If we look at West, let's pull up West, Westlaw. And here is State versus Sullivan. So we're going to scroll down, and you see there's a double star and a single star. The double star refers to the unofficial cita citator, which is the Northwest 2nd. And if you look up to the top, 576 Northwest 2nd 30, the double star means that you're now on page 32. The single star refers to the Wisconsin citation. 216 Wisconsin 2nd 768 is the first page, and now you're on page 770. So for this example of the uh, pinpoint citations, I chose a citation that was on page 774 of the Wisconsin 2nd and on page 33 of the Northwest 2nd. Um, in the State versus Gerald LC, it's the same thing. You have the first page, comma, and then you have the exact page where you got the quote. First page of the decision, exact page where you got the quote. And those are called pinpoint citations. And the pinpoint citations are where, they're called pinpoint because then you know where you got your quote. So I'm going to make some lines and just put this. These are pinpoint citations. So I'm going to erase some of this because uh, it's hard to read the next thing that comes up. So now we're going to talk about short form citation. 
In short form citation for the official citation format, you, we don't use IBID or ID here in Wisconsin officially. You have the case name Sullivan or Gerald LC. You have then the short form to the official citator. You have the volume, you have the source, and then you have at and the page number where you found it. Again, you have the case name, volume, source, at, page number. In State versus Gerald LC, you have the volume, the source, and then you have the word at, and then you have the pinpoint site, the specific page number. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty easy to do short form citations. Um, and as you'll see, after the year 2000, you have paragraph numbers, but you don't have them um, in the uh, before 2000 case numbers. And that's about it. So we're gonna, we are going to uh, conclude this tutorial.